Right now, you probably see plenty of people wearing masks at the supermarket, but very soon face coverings may actually be required if you want to enter any store in Connecticut. The mayor of New Haven already issued an executive order requiring masks in Elm City businesses, and Governor Ned Lamont is expected to make the same decision at the state level within the next few days. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Roger Susanna joins us now live outside City Hall in New Haven. So explain how this will all work, Roger. Yeah, Eric and Nicole, the truth is the governor and the mayor of New Haven appear to be reaching the same conclusion based on the exact same information from the CDC. Covering your mouth and your nose like this can help fight the spread of COVID-19. Here's the deal. When the CDC first recommended that everyone wear masks in public, state and local leaders here in Connecticut began looking into whether face covering should be required inside stores. New Haven's mayor, Justin Elliker, just issued an executive order that goes into effect tomorrow that will require everyone who enters any store in the city, customers and employees alike, to cover their face. Business owners will need to provide workers with masks, and you will need to have a cloth covering if you want to go shopping. Governor Ed Lamont is also expected to make a similar executive order by the end of this week throughout Connecticut. Now, it's important to note you don't need to have a medical quality surgical mask. Any homemade cloth covering will work, including a bandana or scarf. Mayor Elker says in New Haven, violators will just be given a warning initially to cover up. Governor Lamont is also trying to spread the word. He believes everyone should use their best judgment and wear a mask whenever they can when you can't easily socially distance. We're going to issue those guidelines to be clear as a day about what you ought to do because it, um, talking to CDC, talking to Dr. Fauci, talking to our fe fellow governors, the best way that we can uh, slow this uh, spread of the virus, and you saw from our numbers, it's continuing to uh, grow. Uh, sometimes we think we've rounded the bend in a permanent way, but it's uneven, and that's why it's so important that we do everything we can to slow the spread. And I'm afraid that a mask are a big part of that. So we're going to be very clear in our executive order about what that involves. And just to show you just how easy it is, a friend of mine named Rona, who actually works in the uh, medical profession, made homemade masks for me and my daughter Genevieve. You can see mine has a big three on it to honor Channel 3. My daughter's has Minnie Mouse on it as well. And by the way, as we come back live, you can see I forgot my Channel 3 mask at my desk. So I've got my daughter Genevieve's on. Apparently this was made within minutes. And by the way, and it is washable by the way, so that is one cool thing as well. So Genevieve, don't worry about the fact that I'm <laughs> borrowing it from you. Coming up uh, at six o'clock though, we're gonna show you how you can make a mask for less than a buck in less than one minute. That's coming up, I should say, at 5.30. Reporting live in New Haven, I'm Roger Suzanne, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.